Elden Ring finally got released today, guys. And you were probably very excited to check it out. Search for treasure in every nook and cranny. Everything this game has to offer, pretty much. I already had a blast getting my ass kicked yesterday on the live stream. Was great fun. But if you are new to the game, also if you're playing this one on the PC, you've probably already encountered some issues regarding the keybinds. It's easier said than done, right? <laughs> yes, this is also why I was struggling on my live stream and decided to dedicate a little bit of time to make this guide for you. So guys, welcome. My name is Furyam and in this video, I will show you pretty much everything you need to know to make your experience in Elden Ring the best possible with a mouse and keyboard. Explain you how you can do sprinting, open up the map pretty much. Also, get rid of that um, prompt for console keybinds, which you constantly see popping up, which can be pretty annoying. So let's get right to it. Alright, so here we are. The first thing we're gonna do is get rid of that annoying controller keybind prompt. So every time when we can interact with something, you see um, these controller buttons popping up. Also, if you go to your inventory, let's say, and click on something, we have this A, B sort, and um, you can't really do anything with this. So basically, what you're gonna have to do is open up system, then go to the third tab, which is sound and display. And right here, you have device for on-screen prompts, this you're gonna change from gamepad to keyboard and mouse. Right now, all the keybinds corresponding to our mouse and keyboard should pop up. So look at that. We can rest at side of grace with X. Also, if you haven't figured out yet how you can sprint in the game, this is basically done by pressing and holding the button which you normally use for rolling and dashing, let's say. So uh, I have this one bound on my Razor Naga. So if you go to controls for a second, it is right there. Backstab, dodge, roll and dash. Press and hold this one and you can sprint. Of course, it will cost some stamina. Talking about keybinds, you've probably already searched for a keybind for map. How you can open it up in the game, what the default keybind is. Well, guys, I have bad news. It is simply not there. Doesn't mean you can't open it, but um, I think they simply forgot to add this one, which can be pretty annoying, especially if you want to assign a different key to it. But basically, right now, the solution to open it up is the default keybind, G. If you click on this one, you will be able to open up the map and with your mouse wheel, you can scroll in and scroll out. Uh, I also have pretty weird uh, movement key binds, which are Q, W, E, and S. Most of you guys are probably playing with W, A, S, D. And these are actually also the key binds which you can use to navigate to the north, the east, the south, and the west. And of course, if you hold your pin on a certain location, you can press the corresponding key bind, which is in the bottom left, to, for example, quick travel. During the live stream, it also took me much longer than expected to get to know how we can actually equip weapons and armor in this game. So basically, if you go to the inventory right here and uh, let's say go to a weapon, we cannot really press use right here. We can only discard it or leave selected, which is not really what you're looking for. Can lead to many frustrations, but basically what you want to do is go to equipment right here. Of course, for people who are already familiar with this franchise, it's going to be easy mode. But um, right here, what you're going to do is pretty much click on one of these slots and then you can equip more of these items. So you can place them in the slots right here by simply clicking in one of them. And that is all you need to do. So right now we have two Lord Swords, Trade Swords in both the right and the left hand. So if we just uh, hover in our uh, first and second slot, we can equip both of them and fight with both at the same time. The normal keybinds for this are like the left and right arrow, which I definitely don't recommend. If you also played a lot of Skyrim in the past, I think 1, 2, 3, 4 is just perfect if you have them really close to your movement keys. A quick overview of all the keybinds which I am using for mouse and keyboard on Elden Ring on PC is uh, WSQE for movement, uh, the first num key on my uh, Razer Naga, jump spacebar, which I think works very well, also very similar to most games, so it doesn't feel weird. Then also crouch on D, and then right here we have the reset camera or lock on target with A, which is also close to my movement, one, two, three, four, for the switch armaments. And then also all the regular buttons right there. And once again, the map cannot be found in the keybind settings. Just press the default G and it will bring you to it. Navigate with WASD. All right, so that is pretty much everything you need to know to get started with uh, Elden Ring with your keybinds. If you also had trouble, if this video was helpful, would be very much appreciated if you can just hit that like button for a second. Of course, I'm going to cover a lot more Elden Ring. This was just a very important video, in my opinion, for also many other people who couldn't find an answer on Google. Guys, a big thanks for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more Elden Ring. I'll see you guys very soon. Right now, though, it is for him out. Have an awesome day. Good luck with your adventures. I'll see you next time. Peace.